I'm Suzanne Ridgway. Today we're going to get it all done. On Let Us Eat Today, we are going to get it all done. I am Suzanne Ridgway, and we're going to get picked up and cleaned up and ready for the work week. We did a cleaning burst last night, so there's not a whole lot we're going to have to do today. But I'm going to clean up the kitchen for after breakfast and my morning coffee. Then we're going to tackle the dining room and some laundry. Finish making beds and do some sweeping and mopping as well as the bathroom. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on my link. I like to do cleaning videos of all kinds that also include decluttering and organizing from time to time. If you are new and any of this interests you, let's look for that subscribe word below and click on it. And see that little guy down below telling you to hit the like button and the subscribe word? Don't forget. Make sure you also smash that bell. It'll let you know when I upload a new video and you can personalize it to your preference. Let's get into the cleaning. Before you start any cleaning, I always do a walkthrough. I'm going to take care of my countertop. I have the ground beef thawing for a video for later today. We're going to put away some dishes. Clean up dishes from breakfast. Make the bed in the back bedroom as well as sweep the floors in the back bedroom as well as the kitchen. Clean up the coffee station, which I already started to do. We need to wipe out the oven because it was too hot to yesterday. If you watched my cleaning video for the evening routine. And I will link that in my description box down below so you can watch it in the future. I'm going to wipe down the microwave because a lot of people have used it already this morning. Now we're going to take a look into the dining room TV room area. It is dark in here. We had an electrical storm go through. And I reduced all the power in the house in case we had a power outage. The thunder was so loud it shook the house. I will shake the rug out. And I gotta shake the couch out. And that's gonna come off of it on Friday. Or Saturday, we haven't decided yet, because the slip cover needs washing again. I'll wipe everything down. I already made the bed in the back bedroom. Finish taking things off the dinner table. We gotta check in on the gerbil and put away some laundry. Time to clean the, the toilet. As well as the sink. I like to do a complete wipe down in the bathroom first thing in the morning. And I have a two brush system that I explain every time. The white brush is for the sink. Never the toilet. Get that water hot. Just don't burn yourself. And rotate the brush in circular motion. And rinse your brush off. Then you take your second brush, mine's a blue tip for the toilet. The 
get under the rim of the seat as best as you can. If anybody has any tips on how to, if anybody has any tips on hard water stains, please comment below and I will try them out because this is a really old toilet. As I said, we've been here about 10 years and, and the people who lived here before me did not take care of the bathroom. Sounds like we need to dump out and rinse out the brush holder. If your brush holder smells, put some baking soda and lemon juice in it with some dish soap. Let it sit for a few hours, rinse it out. You should clean your brushes at least once a month. As well as your plunger, so they don't get dusty and smelly. Then I like to take a washcloth and wipe down all the excess and make sure the rim of the seat here is clean. No chemicals on it. When I'm doing a bunch of chores in the morning, I like to do things I dislike the most first. Like folding in laundry, cleaning up the bathroom, and doing dishes. Those are my least three favorite things when I'm doing housework. I started in the bathroom today, do something a little different. And now I'm going to fold up all this laundry. Then we're going to tackle the dishes in the sink, as well as the ones in the drying rack. Get those all put away. Then we'll sweep and mop and prep dinner. Nothing fancy with folding. My husband puts away his own laundry. My kid is being homeschooled, but when they are free, they do help me fold laundry and they put away their own clothes. They're particular about how things are, are put away. My youngest does have ODD, which is a defiance disorder, as well as ADHD and maybe some autism. So I do as much as I can to make her life a little more relaxed. You know it's summer months when we have bathing suits in the laundry mix. We've been doing a lot of swimming already. I have three piles. Mine, Jacqueline's, and Isabel's. My husband did the laundry yesterday in between taking Jacqueline to a birthday party and then Jacqueline had a Play date at her friend's house and they had a water balloon fight. Fortunately, it cools down enough in the evenings to wear leggings and I wear shorts usually during the day when it is hot out. Let's put away the laundry. I'll put mine away as well as Jacqueline's and leave an outfit out for school tomorrow and then my team will put theirs away. 
I put the underwear and socks in the top drawer. No nightgowns this time. A bathing suit down in the bottom drawer with her extra underwear. Extra tank tops and summer dresses and t-shirts go in this drawer right above the bottom one let's make the bed before we put away the laundry My husband likes his new job and that he's back to work every day. We belong to a cleaning group. Hashtag made bed thread. All set. I belong to several on Facebook. And I have my own group, which I've mentioned in the past. If you're interested, my group is called Let Us Eat. Oh, like this station here. Cook, clean, and family. And I will put a link in my description box below. I like to put my underwear and bras in different baskets in my top dresser drawer. And everything has a place in my dresser drawers which I never had before. And it's so much easier to find things. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have been since my kids were born. But some mornings I get really busy. I have errands to run. Doctor's appointments. Our kids are homesick. You never know what's going to happen. Here's a tip. If you have concert t-shirts, I love mine. This is my ACDC one that my teenager got me. I like to have the print facing out when I fold them so I can find them because I have a few different other black t-shirts, a Star Wars one, a Def Leppard one, and it's just too hard to find them. Even my my little t-shirts like this with Blockbuster on it. And that way I can find them easily. Bras on the right hand side. My underwear is on the left. Keep tank tops in that basket on the right. Extra short shorts. Not perfect, but I know where everything is. Right here, so I can find them. The leggings are in this drawer with the concert t shirts. And the long sleeve tops that I still keep it out. 
because we get cool evenings. And this is my overflow drawer. Let's put away dishes. Before I can even get to the sink, I want to put everything away. Make sure I have room in the dish drain. the silverware and we'll be right back. Always keep your water up first, but not too hot. I like to lay the plate flat. Make sure there's no food particles on them. underneath a quick wipe down. Wiping down under your dish drain is really important because after a while it will smell bad if you don't. Adjust your water so you don't burn your hands. I'm glad I don't have to wash laundry today because we did it yesterday. Because it is raining like cats and dogs. And we're going to be having lines of thunderstorms coming in and out of the area all afternoon today and most of the morning. Got startled by one at 5.15 this morning. It shook the house that the thunder was so loud. I think it hit a tree or something. Or maybe even a transformer, but no power went out in my media area. I don't know about the rest of my village. Rinse your coffee filters out so there's no grounds in them. That'll attract ants. Even though you put a filter in it, don't rinse them out. Make sure there's no sugar at the bottom of your mug. I don't always stir my coffee good enough past sleep in the morning. Not a lot, because we did all the bulky ones in my cleaning evening routine yesterday. My kid, if it ever eats breakfast in the morning before school, refuse to do anything right down to brushing their teeth, which is extremely frustrating. So I usually have them go to the nurse's office and do what they don't do here and there. And then they refuse to get their backpacks on and their headphones for their cell phone. They don't like how loud the bus is in the morning, so they have a phone on the bus keep them uh, contained. Everything was a battle uphill. Life of a mom with a child of ODD, which is a defiance disorder. 
I'm going to wipe this thing down. And before we start my crock pot, I'm going to wipe the counter down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill up that coffee pot with water and let it soak a little bit. You should do that every so often. And every so often wash it out with soap and water, but not hot water because you don't want to crack the glass. Especially after it's cooled down from a hot pot of coffee. Make sure you subscribe. So you don't miss out because I'm going to be doing a, a sloppy joe's casserole with cornbread topper while it's cooled down in here. I picked up Martha White cornbread mix. That's going to be the topper of the sloppy joe's casserole. It's going to be awesome. That is for our dinner for another night. Wipe out the stove because we couldn't do it last night. It was too hot. Make this and dump and go chicken parm, four to five boneless skinless chicken breasts, one white cooking onion, three to four celery stalks, any jar of sauce. I have our Price Chopper brand, black pepper, garlic, and shredded mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to show you how to throw this together for this delicious dump and go dinner. We're going to cut the celery about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want it too big because it won't cook thoroughly and it will have a hard bite to it. It's okay if the tops go into the crock pot because that's where all the fragrance is from the celery and makes your dish smell amazing. I'm going to cut the celery all the way through. regrow your celery you can save the ends or discard them for mulch. Dump in the celery. Now we're going to prep the onion. I went ahead and rinsed my cutting board and knife because I don't like to cross contaminate any food. I cut the ends of the onion and then I slit halfway down the middle to prep it for being minced. And I'm going to use half this onion because the other half is going to go into that sloppy joe's casserole. as thin as possible along the shirt short and weave it back and forth. Add in your onion. And they don't have to be perfect because a lot of the onions will evaporate within the dish. This is a real easy Weeknight dump and go with chicken parm. Now I'm going to score my chicken. And what I mean by score is just make a slit in it anywhere on the chicken, usually around the top of the breast. That way the seasonings will have time to sink in to the chicken and really make them very flavorful. 
three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. Three teaspoons of garlic. If you have fresh, you may use fresh. And that is it for seasoning the chicken. We're going to dunk the chicken right into the bed of onions and celery. Always rinse your hands after touching chicken. Went ahead and pre-opened my jar because I do not like fighting with jars in the mornings or any time of the day. You just dump it in. This is a store brand by Price Chopper, which is a supermarket in my neck of the woods. Make sure all of that sauce is out of the jar. We're good and then kind of spread it all over. If you have bell peppers, you can also add those in because that would be delicious. And you're gonna take your mozzarella cheese. If you have a brick, pre-shred that. It makes it a lot easier. And you're gonna add about a cup. This is what it looks like from the top. It has a layer of onions and celery, then the seasoned chicken with black pepper and garlic, a jar of sauce, and about a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese or whatever amount you like. Feel free. And if you have Parmesan, sprinkle a little bit of that in as well. About one to two teaspoons. Do not use too much because you don't want to overpower the dish. I will make sure everything you need to know is in your description box below for your convenience so you can write down my recipe for this delicious easy weeknight dump and go chicken parm. Last thing we're going to do today is tackle the sweeping in the dining room and the TV room and we're going to shake the couch out first and we're going to go into there. Let's dump the couch out make sure there's no extra hidden food particles in here. Looks like I'm going to have to wash this in bleach because kids are slobs, especially mine. That is why there's a cover on this, otherwise my cushion would have been ruined. a month to get behind your furniture and under it or if you have dogs or kids or any kind of pet or you keep it clean And just like that, we got it all done. Took about an hour and 25 minutes for my three bedroom flat. It's the dining room, TV room, bathroom, two of the bedrooms, because my teen is homeschooled on Monday, the kitchen with dinner prep. Not bad. And I cleaned up after the dinner prep. Also, you want to keep your crock pot on low 
for six to eight hours until the chicken is done and I'll look up the proper chicken temperature and put that in my description box below with everything you need to know on how to make easy dump and go weeknight chicken parm. We got it all done and dinner is centering in the crock pot. Dishes are done until lunchtime. Everything is wiped down. All the laundry is folded and put away. The bathroom is cleaned up. Then we'll have an evening routine later with baths and backpacks, getting ready for school and work for the next day, and so on and so forth. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you everyone for watching my videos all the way to the end. I really appreciate each and everyone's support. And if you are new here, look for my subscribe guy down below. He's going to tell you to like, so smash that like button. He's going to tell you to subscribe. Make sure you click on the subscribe word, which is in red, and then smash that bell. I purposely didn't add the mopping part to this video because it's going to be raining on and off all day today and tomorrow. And in case people track in mud and dirt, I don't want to have to mop twice.